Hey guys, so today I have a tutorial on how to make a zippered pencil pouch duct tape stuzy style and I've had some requests to do this tutorial because they said they don't really understand hers for some reason so um, I contacted her just to make sure it was okay that I can make one and she said it was okay so I decided I'll just do one and hopefully these people that asked me to do it will understand and if not, I don't really know what to tell you, but yeah. So what you will need are one or two, three, however many colors of duct tape you want. You will need a zipper, something to cut with, like an X-Acto knife, possibly a straight edge if you use one, a cutting surface, and a stapler with some staples. So let's get started. Next, what you want to do is measure your zipper frayed end from frayed end. And mine measures eight, almost eight and three fourth inches, but my actual zipper is only seven inches. So we may have different size zippers. So you just want to measure frayed end from frayed end, so all the way. And then you want to cut out three pieces of your outside color that are the same length as your zipper, the long all the way, your whole zipper. So I cut out three pieces that are eight and three fourth inches. And then you're going to want to cut one of those pieces in half. And then what you want to do is line them up. You want to set one of these half pieces aside because you'll be using it later. But you want to line up these two pieces plus one half piece to be four and a fourth of an inch tall. And this is where you would line up your outside if you want to do that. So what I like to do is go a little bit past that three fourth inch right there. And then I just layer one, two, three, four. Like that. And then I like to make sure all the seams are going down. And then what you want to do next is flip it over and then cover the back side with your inside color. So again, you're going to cut out three pieces of your inside color that are the same length as the whole length of your zipper again so I will cut uh, three pieces that are eight and three fourth inches long and then cut one of those pieces in half and then layer them right on top so we'll do that now so now you should have one sheet that is your outside pattern color and one that's inside and it should be the same length as the full length of your zipper and you're going to want to make another one of these so you should have two that are the exact same same height same length same outside inside or however you want to make yours and you can pause and do that now next what you want to do is take another piece of your inside color that is the same length as your zipper and cut it in half And you can put those two pieces aside for now, or just leave them where you, they are. You want to take one of your sheets, and you want to place it with your seams are going down. So you want your seams to be going down, and you're going to place your zipper upside down. So how you can zip it like this right now. You want it to be able you want to be able to not be able to zip it so turn it upside down and place it on top of your sheet where the pattern is facing up and your seams should be running downward you're going to want to staple end to end your zipper right from the top all the way across so let's see if i can do that in a good I probably shouldn't even worry about making this good since it's just for a tutorial. So, and you want to make sure to not get too close to the zipper. So, again, it's upside down and your pattern is facing upward. So, 
don't know if you can see that. And that turned really dark. So yeah, just kind of like that. And you want to staple all along your sheet. And if this was something that I wasn't filming, I would probably take my time, but yeah. And if some of your staples didn't really go through good, you can take them out. Like this one didn't really go good. And you can just restaple it. Okay, good enough. Then next, you want to take one of your half pieces that you cut earlier. And you want to lay it right on top of the staples with the flat side facing up. So what you just stapled. Again, don't really cover the actual zipper part, so just cover the staples. Like that, and I like to press down. Then you want to flip it over. And then fold the staples onto themselves so you don't really want to fold it like a whole bunch just enough to where the staples fold right under where they are when you fold it I don't know if that makes any sense but you just want to fold it barely so just right onto itself so right under I mean, you can fold it a lot if you want to, but it'll make your pouch smaller, I think. You don't want to fold it a whole lot, just a little bit. And I don't really care about those wrinkles right now. I'll probably just keep this for myself. So, when you fold it, it should be like rounded on the outside. So it gives like a sewn look and you should be able to zip it and unzip it, zip it, whatever. And then now, I always have to think about this, hold on. <sighs> you want to place it again with your seam, take your other piece and place it with your seams running down. And you want to flip this so it's your inside color facing out and place it right on top. So again, your zipper should be upside down. So it should be your new piece, a pattern facing up, your piece you just stapled outside color facing up. Because then when you flip it, it'll be outside facing. And again, you're gonna wanna zip, um, staple the end right at the top so staple along right here now we'll just try and do this pretty quickly
all the way to the end and then take your other piece and cover the staples. And flip it over and again fold the staples onto themselves. Like that. And your zipper should be fully functioning if it's not stuck there. So you should still be able to zip it and unzip it. Fine, and your top of the pencil pouch is finished. Next, what you want to do is you want to turn it inside out so that it's your inside color facing outward now. And we're going to staple along these sides. So line it up, I guess. And at the beginning, starting at the beginning of the zipper, I'm just seeing because mine is like way off and I think I'm gonna like put some tape down here there so starting at your zipper at the top and this white is really white But I just like to start like I don't know. I'm still no master at this part whatsoever. But just not I don't like to go right at the top, I guess. I'm still experimenting with that because mine never really still come out as good as I want them to. But near the top and then all the way down to the bottom and this is still terrible stay like that I like how I say I don't care because it's a tutorial but I really care okay whatever yes I know I'm doing the other side or maybe I'm not I don't know okay. so just staple all along the side And then the other side and make sure you don't flip it and do it because you know how I hold it like this I don't want to flip it and hold it like this again because you want the flat heads to be on the same side so just make sure that is what happens with yours so the flat heads are on the same side and starting from the top again And now what you want to do is unzip your zipper so make sure you do that Ugh. so just make sure you do that otherwise you'll have to undo these staples once you fold them over and everything actually I don't know can you probably can still unzip it after you fold it over I don't even know to be honest I don't know 
the next what you want to do is you want to take your inside color and it, you want it to be the same length or the same width I guess as your pouch and I like to just line it up from where the tape begins on the inside to where it ends and then cut it in half and then you're going to want to do the same thing that we did to the top if you want to fold the staples onto themselves so put half on half off again make sure it's on the flat part of the staple and then fold so yeah sorry if you can't really see this but just fold like how we did with the top part and I don't really know what I just cut don't really care right now and then do the same for the other side just cutting off the excess and then fold it onto itself and yours should look a lot better than mine <laughs> so now what we have to do now is just staple the bottom so if yours is uneven like mine i don't know if you can see that you can cut it so where it's even or you can staple starting from where the real bottom is so what you see here the penguin that's not really the bottom so i would start stapling above that and try and keep a straight line or whatever so and I think I will just leave it and staple above it. So again, starting, I don't know, I might, like when you have to fold it inside out, my middles never come out like the ends, like in the middle over here. I guess that's not the only middle, but whatever. They never come out good. So I'll just start stapling right there. And you can look and see if you missed anything if you look inside. And you can go in the staple if you did. But I think I'm trying to do something to see if my end in the middle will pop out nicely if I don't staple right to the end. Even though I do see a little gap in here. But you can staple all the way across until you don't see gaps. And then you want to take another piece of your inside color, same length as your pouch this time. So my pouch is now a little over seven inches. And again, you want to make sure that flat head is at the top. 
and you want to place half on half off And since the seam won't be facing down like these other ones, you can clear tape this just so if it bothers you, you can do that. And then you want to fold it onto itself again. And again, take your time. I'm not really taking my time. And I would probably try to get all these little wrinkles out, but I'm not going to. And so now really you're done and we have to turn it inside out. So just try and push it out. I guess it is easier to do it like this. And like that. And also, I would be taking my time to do this. Try not to make this too long. as good as it's gonna get. So once you push it all out to how you like it and how far it will be pushed out, that will be your zippered coin or pencil pouch. I always say coin pouch. Pencil pouch. So it should have like a faux sewn look. And your zipper should be able to zip and unzip. And I really wish I could push these corners out more. Ugh. And yeah, if you curtail the bottom of the coin pouch, your seam that we did would not be facing up like it would be covered. But it's not that big of a deal. And yeah, mine is very crooked. <laughs> I keep forgetting I'm filming. So yeah, hopefully that made sense. I'm not really sure if it did. I'm pretty sure Susie's is much better than mine since it's her idea. But I tried. And yes, if you want any more tutorials, you can ask me, contact me in one of the ways I have in this, the description below. And some people are asking how do you PM on YouTube and what you do is you go to someone's channel and then you go to the about tab and then you can click send message and then when if you don't have email notifications on or anything you can go to check your inbox by going to your 
um, by clicking, they changed it by clicking your avatar and clicking something, Creator Studio or whatever it says now. And then on the left side, you go to community and then your inbox is right there and you can check your messages. So yes, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.